Body Fly Fitness, hi, how you doing? Uh, my name is Shea Jaratutu. I'm here just to introduce my wife, Autumn Jaratutu. Hi, how are you? I'm gonna be her sous chef today and yeah. make some good food. All right, perfect. So, Body Fly asked me to teach you guys a healthy recipe, and what we're gonna make today is stuffed bell peppers with sweet potatoes and ground turkey. Sous chef, are you ready to help me out here? Sous chef's here. All right, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three bell peppers mm -hmm. and we're gonna cut them. And you wanna make sure that you have the mm -hmm. seed because the object is we wanna stuff it. Okay, so now we wanna set our pan over here to like on medium high heat. While that's happening, we're gonna chop up some of our uh, sweet potatoes. Okay. So fast forward, now we have to our two and two thirds cups of sweet potatoes. And while we finish that, we can start with our turkey. I personally like ground turkey. It's a leaner. It cuts the fat. It's easier to digest. And you don't feel as sluggish and heavy. We already did two large cloves of garlic, finely chopped, all even consistency. And then we also want to take our ground pepper. And then you want to take two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. In here, you want to work your ground pepper. Now it only takes a couple seconds for that to get um, woken up and spicy. We're gonna salt and pepper with and garlic salt, onion powder, and we really want to do as much fresh herbs as possible so that we're keeping the salt content out because salt retains body water. Now that our ground turkey is cooked, you do not have to drain it because extra lean ground turkey doesn't have a lot of fat cons consistency to it, so you don't have to drain anything. I personally like to keep as much flavor as I possibly can in my ground turkey just for the simple fact it doesn't have any. We want to add some garlic powder. You can be sparingly on that. I just like to go like that just because I don't want to use a lot of salt. Um, I like to use a lot of that. And then we're going to use some pepper. We're going to use about at least two tablespoons of pepper. If you want to do more towards the end when you're seasoning to taste, you can definitely do that. And then we're gonna do a little, a one tablespoon of garlic salt. This is why I don't like to add any more salt because since we're using the garlic salt for a little flavor, that is why. Um, and then now we're gonna stir that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can add in our sweet potatoes and our onions. So we're gonna let our sweet potatoes cook for just about eight minutes or so. Hi, London Grace. We're gonna let our sweet potatoes cook Leave that in there. Yep, and we're gonna toss it around our sweet potatoes and our onions. And we're just gonna give those both, both a good toss. Toss them up. Oh, toss it up. Stir it up. We're gonna give it about eight minutes. Good? Yes. You need the timer? Nope. We need more flavor. Can never have enough. And I did a half a cup of chicken stock. Trust me, do not skip this step. It really, really counts. It really tastes really good this way too. And the goal is to cook these um, sweet potatoes in here for eight minutes because all you need to do is get it tender. And then we'll cover that back up for the next 30 seconds. And then once we're done, we'll add our spaghetti sauce in here. All right, perfect. So this now what you want to do is you want to stuff your sweet potatoes. Yeah. You want to fill it up until about, um, you have like a half so just pack it on in there. What's next? And then you're gonna take some of your goat cheese mm -hmm. and you wanna put some of this on top. So now that that's in the oven, we're gonna let those cook for 35 minutes. At the end of the day, this is an awesome recipe because we're eating to be fly. We're not eating for satisfaction here. Granted, big flavors, um, minimal ingredients, and big taste. Now it's time to taste. If you're not doing any, hardly any carbs, you don't have to add the brown rice with the coconut oil. But I know my honey always has a good appetite, so, you know, more is better for him. I put some fresh, finely chopped parsley on top. It's just another herb, gives you a little bit of extra flavor, and plus it makes your food look pretty, and that doesn't hurt anything. You wanna try some? Yeah. This is my goat cheese, so I'll try this one. Mmm. That's like good. Mm-hmm. Healthy? It is. The sweet potato is good. It's soft. It's soft, huh? It's really uh -huh. good. I like it. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to add that chicken stock in there because it's gonna give you that extra flavor that you need in chicken because it doesn't have that much flavor because it's healthy for you. The cheese is good. 
choose goat though. You like the feta? Did you try the goat? I'm um, uh, <laughs> You're not willing to try? I'm not. Okay. Thank you. Don't just eat on TV now. As always, um, I appreciate you guys for coming um, with us cooking today. Good experience, uh, tasting some great food. We just always want you to stay present, stay hydrated, and stay fly.